All right guys, so um, the title of this video is My Favorite Clean Accessory and this movement is actually just, it's very specific to the clean. It's a, it's a hang power clean with a slightly different variation. So the typical hang power clean, you know, you're gonna bring the bar down to whatever hang position that is, whether it's a slightly above the knee, at the knee, or below the knee, and then you're gonna come up and make contact in your typical clean position. Um, and that's not what we're gonna do today. So the way that I learned how to do a power clean was kind of like the sports performance style of power clean. I learned on my lacrosse team uh, in college, and you, you could say a lot of like throwers do this, so we'll call it like a thrower clean or something like that. Um, but you know, typically the bar is going to be set up at like a, a higher position, whether that's on scoops, you know, like standalone things or skids that come out from an upright. You're literally, you'll see these guys, they'll strap in, they'll take the bar off the rack, and they'll just heave and hoe and catch. Now, it's, it's a super easy movement at that point because all you're really focusing on is rate of force development. You know, you're above the knees. There's not many moving pieces. The bar is literally going from here to here. So you just load up the bar and you tell those guys to yank and get a secure and safe front rack position. When I learned like this, I actually gave myself a, a very big advantage going forward into my weightlifting career because I was able to develop my upper back uh, and my traps. And I think when a lot of people learn the full lifts, those are the areas that uh, are, aren't addressed. Because we're so concerned with the technicality of the pull, we, we often like, we stop using the upper body and the arms. And so I had that background, so it, so it always carried over for me. So that's what we're gonna be learning today. It's super simple. Typically, you're gonna be able to use, you're, you're gonna to wanna to use straps at some point. And my rule for straps is don't use them for cleans if you're gonna squat. If you're gonna go down below parallel or if you're gonna go into a clean, it's just not worth it. For this though, I mean, we're literally going from here to here. So it's not gonna be that dangerous. It, anytime you think of danger in the lifts, it's just a, a matter of how much you've trained. So either way, you're gonna start really light. You're literally gonna get that barbell into standing position, you're gonna bend over, try to pull, and what you're gonna notice is there's gonna be a little bit of time where you're suspending the bar up like this, and then you want really loud feet uh, during this movement. That would be step one. You wanna do this very, very, with really light weight because the next part after that is where the real magic happens. If you think about a kettlebell swing, you bring the kettlebell down and the weight, the load, the kettlebell in this, um, in this example is, is actually gaining weight, it's gaining force and you have to be able to pull against that, uh, against that force. Similar thing with this style of power clean. You're gonna brace as that bar comes down, you're gonna stay braced and you're gonna get ready to pull into the next rep. Now, if you've been doing the power clean that weightlifters always do, which is down here in contact catch, this is gonna be really difficult for you because you're gonna to wanna to keep your hips forward and go kinda of into that typical contact and catch. And what you wanna do is actually brace and get the hips back and go right into the next rep, as you'll see in the video. This is super effective, but it's also a, a relatively tough learning curve if you've been weightlifting for a, a decent amount of time. So always start lighter and, uh, and obviously progress over time. And I can't tell you enough how much this has helped my trap growth and then also just the speed of my elbows coming around and my, uh, the activity of my upper back after contact. Uh, today, I'm gonna try to work up to a heavy single, but I really wanna try to go five, four, three, two, one. And it depends on what weights I choose for that. That's gonna be my workout. Anyways, that's it.